Well, the governor's Office of Homeland Security and Emergency Preparedness held a press conference this morning, highlighting more details on the OMB data breach affecting most Louisiana residents that was revealed yesterday. Now, Bennett Rowland Jr. joins me in the studio. And Bennett, was there any new information released today? Dylan, in the press conference, GOSEP Director Casey Tingle made it very clear that Louisiana was not the specific, the specific target of the attack. Hackers actually breached MoveIt, Move it, an international third-party data transfer service that Louisiana OMB offices do use, as well as numerous other government entities, as well as major businesses and organizations. State officials shared that all Louisianians with a state-issued driver's license, ID, or car registration have likely had data exposed to the cyber attackers. This includes information like your social secu security number, address, and driver's license number. So far, officials said there is no indication that the hackers who breached MoveIt have sold, used, shared, or released the OMV data obtained from the cyber attack. However, GOSEP recommends everyone be proactive in keeping their information safe, urging residents to follow updates on nextsteps.la.gov. Most notably, freezing and monitoring your credit. We have posted on nextsteps.la.gov. We know that passwords were not included in the data that was involved in this breach. We are recommending, as a best practice, that people change their passwords as soon as possible. So, Ben, we've experienced issues like this, especially here locally in the city of Alexandria, especially with the utility department being breached last year. We saw a big issue with that. What can we do to further protect ourselves to make sure our private information isn't being accessed? Yeah, Dylan, today I spoke with Jonathan Payton, a local cybersecurity expert who shared that we have made it through storms like this before adding that there are protections we should all implement, be it our business or personal information. Pay attention, be aware, use the best practices. I mean, it's not, it's all out there. Some of it's simple. You need to go through your, your emails, your bank accounts, all those things for sure. Like we said, multi-factor, turn that on, change your password a couple of times a year. You know, but there are services that are out there that are, that are real good about, you know, making very difficult to, to crack passwords and those are things that you could use. If you suspect any abnormal activity involving your personal information, contact the Federal Trade Commission immediately. We have their contact information and the information of multiple other resources on the station's website. Dylan.